deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend. Josh. Hello everybody and welcome to Until Dawn. Oh, didn't realise it would do that. I've been putting this game off for a while and haven't looked up anything on what goes on because it's based on your decisions. Obviously, as you saw right at the beginning, every decision I make will change the story. And I've been putting it off for so long that I completely forgot I had it. This is Until Dawn. It's a blind playthrough. I played a bit of the first bit, and I got to a, oh, cuts zoom into her face, it's really cool. And I, um, oh, I can turn her head. Oh, it's mental. Uh, I've played a little bit of this, just to see how the audio comes through, and it seems to be fine, so I'll just, um, I'll let you know where I got to the bit, where I got up to. Okay, so check the bottle. Okay. I think this is really cool. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. <laughs> I think it's really cool the way you like pick up the um, way you, the way like you can pick up things and turn them. I, I really like that feature. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to play this. As I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just completely forgot I had it. So uh, it was like it was like a day ago when I did this. So. Got on. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't really want to spoil anything, so I just wanted to go through and I was kind of just checking it all. So I haven't really paid attention, really. Which is good, because then I get to experience it all. Alright, go check over here. And then up the stairs, maybe? Up the stairs. Maybe I can't go up them? Why can't I go up the stairs? No, alright then. Guess we, guess we won't. Oh, it's a what? Oh. Okay. Alright then. <laughs> it's a wall. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I can like pick it up and then mm, I'll slowly turn it. Mm -mm. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you look even hotter out of it. Come into the guest room at 2am, Mike XXX. Oh my god, what did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. 
Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. That's so cruel. What are you I don't know doing why here? I don't do that to uh, someone. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. 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 This is all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Ah. Uh. Guys Everyone's just an jerks. asshole for doing this. You know that? Hannah! Why would you why would you do that to someone? Oh shit. Alright. Make a choice. What do you mean? Oh. Um Wake up Josh. That's what I did last time. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Alright, so... Oh, shit! This is where I got up to. I, I did this bit and then I stopped. So... Safe route. We're in no rush. <laughs> No, uh, follow the footprints. Obviously, the noise could have been from the footsteps over this way, so. Ah. And it was the moose. Well, I should have probably checked the footsteps though, shouldn't have I, really? Fuck shit! Jesus, fuck shit! Fucking Jesus shit. Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? Hannah! Spooky forest, you don't really want to be out here, lady. No way! Do I have to physically swipe it? May. That's so good. Oh my god! <laughs> I can angle it as well. Mate, this has got so much like... Uh, I want to say realism, but it's not really realistic, is it? It's um, so much like... Control. I've got so much control over it. I'm gonna point this like this way if I really wanted to. I don't know why, but <laughs> I could if I wanted to. What's the point in having it on anyway? There's quite light in here anyway. Ooh, <laughs> fucking hell! Ooh. I think that's a, a hint. Walk a bit faster. Go on, strike. Oh. That ass go go. Shine a light on that. Hello? 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 Who is that? <gasps> Ooh, shiny. I'll get to the picky up thing. What is it? What is it? Like a bottle of something. Oh. Oh shit. The fuck was that? Whoa. Totem prophecies. Death, guidance, loss, danger, or fortune. Death, black. The possible death of a person who finds it. Oh, shit. I believe that the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells the possible future event. How you play will determine on whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Okay. Oh, okay. So, cause I, cause, oh. so cause I don't have totems. Oh, hello. That's not... Okay. Beth. 
So she's quite... Okay. She's quite close with Hannah. Um, of course, it's like her sister. So, she's quite honest, quite cra character characterable. Don't know what that is. She's very curious. She's more curious than normal at the minute. Oh my god, I could turn her head. <laughs> mm. What do I do? Uh, oh, what are you looking at? That's mental. That is mental. Um, she's been very brave. She's been much braver than usual. I assume that's what the line means. Um, right, where's that? Where's that thing I was just looking at? No, 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 no. Can I not look at it again? What am I gonna watch out for? What have I gotta look out for? Ah, oh, here. Can I inspect it? Oh, okay. Okay, so I've got to watch out for me me landing on a rock. So I've got to play it safe. I assume. I assume that would that's what would have happened if I wouldn't have walked down the stairs properly. So, I mean, yeah. Hannah, Hannah, where you at, Hannah? My girl, sister. <laughs> Fucking hell! Who's got flamethrower? Hello. Hello. Not, not afraid of you. Oh look, it's over there. Oh, Hannah. Hey. There she is. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Why did she run out so far? Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, you are. You're out here on your own. In the. Whoa. What was that? Hannah, uh, the red. Careful of rocks. Careful of rocks. Are oh, you fucking idiot? Make a picker up. Uh, glasses, glasses, glasses. Oh, fine. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Jesus Christ! Shit! Jesus fucking shit! Oh shit! And they no. are fucked. No. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get ready to hit him. No. Oh god. Oh look. Watch out for the rock. Oh no. Oh shit. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Oh fucking hell. You're a beautiful fella. Oh. Yeah, let go! No, no, I ain't grabbing his hand. Are you dumb? See you later. Oh, oh. Okay. Fuck. Fuck me. That was the wrong choice. Could I have survived if I did that? Properly. If I grabbed this, if I let go of Hannah, <laughs> would have I survived? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Okay. You see, no one can Who change you? Dr. Hill. what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom. This revelation. Oh, Everything my. you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Okay. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember yep. this as you play your game. Oh, it's like every full, full choice breaking. will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. I understand, sir. Alright. So, you have committed to commence with this game. Yes, I have. And I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Thanks. Hmm? I think. <laughs> All right. A bit creepy. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? 
And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Who am I? Why am I picking this up? Okay. It's a farm. It's a barn with scarecrow. What's wrong with that? There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, the scarecrow's smiling a bit, but that's just a well. I assume that's the thing that's supposed to make me feel weird, but it's just a scarecrow at the end of the day, isn't it? It's got a hook as a hand. It's not going to be a person, is it? Okay. Thanks. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Did it make me feel? Oh. No. Well, it was a happy picture. Oh, that's good. Yeah. In what way did it make you happy? Um. Sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> All right, mugging me off, so mate. Which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Uh, depress it. Feel depressed. <laughs> well, winter nights are cold and dark. Depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night, in which your game takes place, is particularly cold and dark. Okay. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, this game might be a little challenging for you. Oh, will it now? Still, there's an opportunity for you here to engage with the others, connect with them, before you start to split them up, before you isolate them. Why would I isolate them? Oh, well it seems we have uncovered some significant topics to explore in our next session. Okay. But for now we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. Alright then. You're a bit of a dick, sir. You asked me to f answer questions and I answered them for you. Honestly. <laughs> 